I'm Hugh Collingborn, Director of Technology with Sapphire Steel Software. In this video, I'll show you how to design a user interface using the Amethyst Designer, paying particular attention to the built-in tools for aligning and sizing controls. Here, I've started a flex application and I've dragged and dropped a few controls from the toolbox into the designer. Now notice that the controls are live. That is, they're real flex controls and you can see their appearance from moment to moment with every change you make. I've displayed a solid line grid in the background and set the controls to snap to the grid. Grid display options can be set in the Amethyst Layout toolbar and this can be turned on or off by right-clicking the toolbar area and selecting it from a list. Now this option up here lets you toggle between free movement of controls and snapping to grid. And you can also change the grid size. Here it's changed from default to one of the standard sizes available in this list. When snapping is turned on, the edges of the controls which are moved or sized will jump to the nearest grid line when the mouse button is released. But when snapping is off and you select free movement, the grid has no effect. You can also turn off the grid display itself. And in addition to grid alignment, the Amethyst Designer has on-the-fly alignment bars. These can be used with or without the grid displayed, and they can be shown whether or not grid snapping is activated. The Amethyst Layout Toolbar also has a range of buttons. Hover your mouse over them to see what each one does. These buttons operate on selected controls. For example, if you haven't got Align to Grid activated, you can use the Align to Grid button to force any selected controls to be aligned to the grid. Now let's turn the grid off for now. The next set of buttons align the edges, vertical centers or horizontal middles of a group of selected controls. By default, the controls will align to the extreme edge of a selected group. With these buttons selected, Align to Left will align to the leftmost edge of the leftmost button. But let's say that you really want to align to the leftmost edge of a specific button. With a group selected, click one button to act as the reference control. This now has a darker selection box. Now the Align Left button aligns to the left edge of the reference control. When aligning centers and middles, you must be sure to select a reference control first. The next set of buttons are for resizing two or more controls. Again, these require that a reference control be selected, otherwise the designer won't know which control defines the size that you want to be applied to the other controls in your selection. These options are Make Same Width, Make Same Height, and Make Same Size. That is, apply both the height and the width simultaneously. And finally, size to grid. Size to grid works whether or not the grid is currently visible. And the next group of buttons can be used to regularize the spacing between the controls in a selected group. These options are make horizontal spacing equal, make vertical spacing equal, remove horizontal spacing and remove vertical spacing. And finally, these two buttons can be used to bring a selected control to the front of all other controls or to send it to the back. In addition to using the mouse, you can use the keyboard. To move controls smoothly, use the arrow keys. To move them in larger increments, press Shift plus the arrow keys. And now let me explain briefly how to select multiple controls. You can do this either by clicking on the empty background of the designer and dragging a rubber band over controls, or you can hold the control key down and click the controls one by one. Control clicking a selected control toggles the selection on and off. Let's select the controls again, and to deselect them, I just click on the background. You can also press the Visual Studio hotkey to select all controls. The default hotkey is Control A, or you can right click and pick Select All from the mouse menu. Right click to select a single control under the mouse pointer and apply one of the menu functions to it. 
you can tailor the features of the Amethyst Designer by selecting Tools, Options, Amethyst Designer. And here you can set defaults for the grid, such as its default size, the width, and the height of the grid cells. And you can change its style, either solid or dotted lines. And whether or not snapping to alignment bars is active, and whether snapping to grid is active. And you can change the amount by which controls are moved when you press the arrow keys alone or in combination with the shift keys. For more information on the features of the Amethyst Designer and other elements of the Amethyst IDE, be sure to visit the Sapphire Steel software website at www.sapphiresteel.com.